Hey guys, welcome back to Crystal Clear Ideas where we are diligently planning towards success. And in this video, I am going to be doing a third quarter flip through of my planner for the months of July, August, and September. So I am super, super excited because I actually started my rewind spread planner in July. I finished up in one of my happy planners and then I dove right in to this one. If you guys don't remember, I did get an opportunity to use my customized happy planner, but I missed my coils so much that I wanted to go ahead and grab a coil planner. And I am so happy that I picked this planner up from Sadie Stickers. I love the paper quality. It's thick and it's luscious and I just love it. I am very much addicted to this planner and I do not see it leaving my lineup for the foreseeable future. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the planner. I'm going to share with you guys my intro. Um, I'm going to link some of those videos if you didn't get an opportunity to see it. This here is from Red Lyric. I used my Zyron um, sticker maker and I went ahead and uh, made this a sticker and put, it, put this right in my planner. This is the undated planner from Sadie Stickers and I'm very pleased with it because I feel like I can move my sidebar around and that makes me very happy. Um, these stickers here, these splotches are from... Um, happy planner from one of my watercolor gold sticker books and then of course the Lux clever craft scripts up here which is my shop and then I did use some happy planner foiled stickers from the I do or love um, like mini sticker like mini sticker book that I got from a um, sub, a sub box a happy a be happy box that I picked up I created this myself with inspiration from Tay of Shantae Plans. Of course, this is crooked, but it was my first time, so I'm giving myself a pass. And I'm not going to change it because I want to remember where I started. So I love the way this turned out otherwise. That's the only thing that bothers me, but I'm going to leave it. So my anniversaries that I have in the month, the kits and the highlights for the month are here. So I'm very, very excited about that. And I haven't decided if I wanted to do like a nice big sticker or die cut here, but it's plain. So maybe I'll figure out something to do on this page one day soon. I'm not sure. So this is the July monthly. Um, a lot of people actually get an opportunity to do like highlights from each day on their July monthly so that it could be filled out and you can have like a, a month at a glance, so to speak. I haven't considered that before. Um... But I may try it going forward in the next quarter, so I'm not sure. We'll see. This kit is from Harriet Wright Designs. I love it. It's very muted. It was my first kit that I laid down. I love these doilies from Sadie Stickers. I actually need to pick up a few more because I absolutely love them. Oh, my goodness. I did use script stickers from, um, from my shop, which is... Um, Lux Clever Crafts just because sometimes I'm not feeling my handwriting and I think it turned out really really cute. I did go ahead and do like a tracker here but I didn't check it off. I do drink water every day and so after a while I stopped doing those trackers because water is all that I drink on a regular basis. Your girl don't drink soda, juice, nothing. So in my mind I was like oh let's track if you get your water intake in for the day but then I realized like that's all I do. All I do is drink water, so there's no need for me to track that. All right, next is this July. And this kit is from Sadie Stickers. It's the home kit. It's in rose gold. I absolutely love it. You guys, I am addicted to rose gold. I'm a fan. I really, really am a fan. I am such a fan. So I think the next planner that I get this coiled may have like a rose gold coil if that's possible. If it's an option just because I love rose gold. I wanted to break up the rose gold with some silver. So I use this kit from Dash of Sun Design. Yeah, Dash of Sun. And it is like a eucalyptus spread. It's so, so cute. Now I actually have some eucalyptus flowers that I could actually use in the spread. But I couldn't wait. I love the way I decorated the sidebar. Um, I actually started to track my meals here because I didn't want to track them each day. 
And I've also been documenting some of the movies that I've been watching, whether they have been movies that I found on YouTube or movies that I have just been watching that I really appreciate and enjoy. Because sometimes I'm the type of person where I love to go back and re-watch movies. So yeah, I do want to document them because I might want to watch it again. I was really dainty with my dividers up top just to give it a different look. And I love the line that is included in the Dash of Sun Design kits. This kit there is a video of. This is the Pink Lemonade kit, I believe. I have a list of all of the kits. And you can also see my lineup videos if you'd like. It's called Freshly Squeezed. And it's from Miss and Meow. Turned out so, so cute, y'all. So excited. I love how I did my little movie marquee. That was the first time we went to the movies since COVID. So I was super excited about that. I love how I did my sign here, like a hanging sign. This was from Shantae Plans and the Sadie Stickers collab, which I absolutely love that. And I just really, really enjoyed this kit. I used her frame boxes. Like I had a blast putting this together, y'all. Oh my goodness, good times. Now we're moving into August. And in August, I went ahead and used a Red Lyric doll and I used a um, Sadie Stickers monthly kit and I got the deco sheet this time so that I wouldn't have to worry about lining things up myself. Turned out beautifully. This sticker here is from Happy Planner, from one of my Happy Planner sticker books. I believe it was floral. Um, you might have to look at the video, but I think it's from the Detailed Florals sticker book. Love the deco that came with that. And I didn't even get a chance to fill in the other anniversary, but I will. So there you go, y'all. So this is the August monthly. I didn't fill in anything that happened this week, so I may have to go back in and put some things down for the monthly. I actually had the idea of lifting all of these up because it's, I did a Monday through Sunday start, but after I put it down, I realized it would have been better to do a Sunday start in this monthly. That's one thing I love about the Sadie Stickers monthlies. You can customize them to start either Monday or Sunday the way that you like. However, after taking a look at it, I decided do not pull this up, Crystal. Just leave it. And I think that's another reason why I didn't get a chance to go back in and put in some highlights for the month. So, yeah. I may, I may not. We'll see. This is my first kit in August, which is Black Honey by Indian Ivy Inc. I had a blast putting this together. Your girl did some chopping of some of the washi and just put some stuff together. I used some boxes from my shop, which is Lux Clever Crafts, which I don't think the boxes are up now if you go to the shop to look for them, but they will be coming out soon. And I absolutely love the way I did my date covers. I love this scene here. And of course I did it, I had an opportunity to put like some priorities here of things that I wanted to do and like a little snippet of what took place this week. So my nieces actually came cause this was right before school started in Florida and my nieces came and I made brunch had brunch with them at the house and I just was so happy to get a chance to see them. It's so difficult, you know, during the time when we're going through the pandemic to be able to be with family members that live far away. So I was just excited to have an opportunity to be with them in, in person. But I absolutely love this kit. Definitely would repurchase it. Definitely. I had so much fun putting this together. You guys didn't get to see me put this one together, but this was my August um second week of august kit this was from rose shadow collection and it was the mark jacobs daisy kit super super cute i picked it because it was my niece's first day of school here my planner bestie got announced to be a part of the happy planner squad on monday so this week was like it was a bomb week okay like i had a blast it was so nice i used these stickers i love these um, I believe, I'm trying to remember where they're from. I can't remember. But I I don't remember. Did I film this one? I don't think I did. But um, yes, super, super excited. Everything turned out beautifully. I absolutely love the light airiness of this kit. And I love how I did my date covers. I used butterflies because my niece loves butterflies. And I thought that it went well with the um, wildflower Mark Jacob Daisy's theme. So, super, super cute. 
my oldest niece actually um, went started school this day um, and that's why I use the different world sticker kit from Capital Sheet Designs for this week. Turned out super, super cute. I did have to do some finagling with the washi, but I made it work. I love how I brought in some of the deco um, dolls and so forth to get things together. I used silver because I wanted to break up the monotony. And one thing that I wanted to tell you guys is using my regular pen just did not work well with this kit. I believe she uses vinyl when she does her kits, and so I had to use my Sakura permanent pen. It was in 0 .03. This is it here. It was a micro perm. And that's what I had to use to write on the stickers here. So after I figured that out, it worked out well. And so now I know in case I purchase other kits from her, but I love the different world kit. She also had some double boxes of like the wedding scene, but I just felt like it didn't go with what I was trying to do. I wanted to use it for the first day of school. And even though my niece wasn't in, is not in college at this time, um, I just thought it, it suited her. It definitely suited her. She kind of stays in her own lane and she has her own style. And so I just love that. This is the, I believe this is the last week in August. Oh, no, it's not. So I use the Bee Kind. This is a bee kit. I think it's called Honey Bee. And it is from Vanilla Paper Co. Yes. And of course, you guys, I'm turning back here because I write my sticker kits down turned out so so cute I pulled this doll in I believe I can't I think she was from red lyric designs I mean red lyrics but I'm not sure but it turned out super super cute I love the gold I love the drip oh my goodness and the bees and I actually did some deco on the headers just something light and airy and I think it turned out super super cute I'm still tracking my dinners in the sidebar and as you can see right here I had a habit tracker there for my water intake and didn't put it in so I'll have to add a water sticker there after this is done I love this I just love being able to decorate the background so so pretty then I use this DEK design sticker kit from DEK designs I believe it was called escape tropical style it's called tropical style this week was the week that it was national like wildlife day and so i went ahead and used this because i thought that it was a perfect match i love how i did the date covers and use the deco up there i did get an opportunity to put the doll that came in the kit or the box with the doll in the sidebar and i love her foiling like she just does foiling okay she foils everything i just love that I'm addicted to foil, so I'm, I'm here for it. So I think this turned out pretty good. I think this kit actually gave me the inspiration along with um, Shanice from Planners and Tacos to start using dolls in my sidebar. So I believe after this, I started trying to match up my dolls with the kits so that I could work on changing up my sidebar. So this is September. I went ahead and put the sticker kits that I was using for the month my highlights for the month and the anniversaries right here. So I love that. I used a two red lyric dolls actually. And I think it turned out cute, cute, cute. You guys, I really am not into like the glitter header washi. I don't know. It just looks a little artificial to me. I'd rather it be all foil or I, I don't know. I just don't like it, but I tried it. And now I know that I really didn't like it. So there it is. Here is my September. For September monthly, I used the kit from Rose Shadow Collection. I absolutely love it. It gives me fall vibes and I'm here for it. And I just love it. I, I absolutely love it. And I don't even mind that the washi is here. I don't mind that just because it's blocking off a period of time. I got my anniversaries in and that's it like I enjoyed myself this month and I absolutely love this kit like I would definitely repurchase this because it is so cute and fab love it 
All right, so then I got back into my rose gold goodness. This was a Franken kit, and that means that I just pulled some full boxes, put a doll together, and kind of made it work with some odds and ends that I had in my stash. I do love the way it turned out. I do wish I was able to bring in some more gray, but I will be able to add some of that um, to my stash for the future. I love the date covers and how I decorated those, just using some odds and ends, and it just turned out really, really well. I enjoyed it. I actually used some washi from Sadie Stickers, the um, thick floral washi, as well as some washi from like leftovers or oops that I received. This week was awesome. We had a surprise anniversary party at my house. Um, and I use that term very loosely because I know we're still in a pandemic, so it was only a few people. But it was very special and nice, and I really enjoyed it. I don't. If you guys don't know about me, anything else about me, just know that I love to entertain. I love to put things together, and so do my friends. And so we are like the perfect, the perfect group. Okay, we just we 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 judge, we vibe, because we all like to entertain and make sure it looks a certain way. We have standards for entertaining, even for small events. So I love that. Now, this was the Island Dreams, and I remember it because in that video, I kept saying Island Dreams, and after I watched myself, I was like, girl, give it up. If you are the real MVP and you remember that video, <laughs> make sure you comment down below. But I absolutely love the way this turned out. I love the hollow, and I used a doll in my sidebar. This was where I realized that if I'm going to use a doll, I may not be able to use my Monday through Sunday, so I had to rearrange some things. Um, I think that if I didn't use the dinner's header, I could have pushed it up a little bit and it might have been okay. But honey, she matches, okay? She is on the beach doing her thing. She's getting her shop on and I am here for it. I love it. And I love the way everything turned out. I think it's so cute. And I believe this kit is from... All right, you guys, sorry about that. My camera cut off. I will zoom you guys in just a little. There we go. So yes, this kit is from Vanilla Paper Co. I absolutely love it. To be honest, her kits kind of have a look about them. And so I was almost sure that it was from her because of how it looks. And I just love it. I, I, I love Vanilla Paper Co. kits. I really, really do. So yeah, this turned out super, super cute. Super cute. I love the washi, the teal colors. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And this is the last time I got my nails done? Yeah, it is. So, girl, I'm getting my nails done Sunday, by the way. I cannot wait. This kit is one that you guys really loved. It was my first fall, week of fall kit. And I used this doll from LCA, Shop LCA, uh, Le Cinque Haut. Uh, which is the 5th of August in French. I just know that because your girl loves French and I took seven years of it. So I hope to know something. But anywho. Um, yeah. So. And all at once summer collapse into fall. Love this. Love this. This kit is from. This is my first kit that I used from the Pretty Pink Co. And I loved using it. It, it's beautiful. I love her color payoff. I love the quality of her um, premium matte paper. Sticker paper is amazing. So this turned out super cute. All right, and then this is the last kit for this video, which is the last week in September, going into the first week of October. I actually changed my sidebar and did a monthly sidebar, which is something different that I've never done before. Created my own scene up top, which I felt was gorgeous. And then I put a full box there with the quote. It's a new season, a perfect opportunity to do something new, something bold, something beautiful. This month, I put some highlights of things I was looking forward to do in October, which honestly, I got a chance to do every last one of those. So I'm super excited. My water intake for the week, which I really could have taken out, and then a goal for the month, which was to be balanced and to stay focused. How did I do with that? I can work on it again next month, just to be honest. But um, 
yeah I love the way it, tur it turned out absolutely love it and that is going to bring us into our um, October monthly inside bar which has not been filmed yet so I cannot wait to share that with you get an opportunity to share my November monthly and my October monthly my October monthly is going to be filmed a little late due to the fact that I have not received my October sticker monthly stickers yet they are in route but they have yet to arrive and I already have my November because I purchased them well in advance so I just have to be mindful of that I hope you guys enjoyed this sticker um, this flip through of my plans in this planner stay tuned for flip through of my other planners and I am so excited you guys hands down my favorite monthly is September just have to say that I just love it and my favorite weekly I don't know it's between this one which was the Franken kit and the Indian Ivy ink because I just absolutely had a great time putting this together but comment down below and let me know which sticker kit you loved with the color palettes in the comments so that I can see what you guys enjoyed that way I can bring a little bit more of that to my channel make sure that you tell a friend tell a friend tell a friend to subscribe to crystal clear ideas and I will see you all in my next video bye guys Thank you.